So first of all, let me thank the organizer for the kind invitation. So I have uh, some good news. I got confused and I thought that uh, my time was 20 plus 10. So most probably we will finish early than, uh, uh, than you expect. So, and of course, you can even leave uh, even le earlier if you don't. <laughs> so that's uh, OK. So I will talk about uh, uh, some work that uh, I did uh, with uh, Bibek and Paolo were here in their PhD uh, in Pisa with Fabio uh, Taddei uh, in Pisa and uh, with Giuliano uh, who contributed for a part uh, when he was uh, doing his, uh, uh, his master thesis uh, uh, in Pisa uh, with me. And uh, this is uh, uh, a work which uh, we recently finished. There is something which uh, we are still continuing, but say a, a large part uh, is, uh, 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 has been submitted in this, uh, in this archive uh, uh, paper. So uh, I really don't have uh, uh, the need to motivate uh, why we are interested in studying, I mean, at this conference, why we are interested in studying heat and charge transport uh, at the nanoscale, several I mean, many, many talks uh, here already highlighted uh, uh, various important aspects of this, uh, uh, of this problem. So the general setup is just having a small region, uh, interacting, non-interacting, whatever, uh, which is connected to several reservoirs. And these uh, all these reservoirs are kept at different chemical potentials and different temperatures. And, uh, you know, the, the, over the, the last decades, there have been uh, uh, really a lot of interest in trying to understand uh, uh, microscopic mechanisms associated to, to transport, uh, if you wish, uh, issue, I mean, uh, uh, questions related to uh, quantum coherence or the effect of the role of uh, strong local interaction. But together with, uh, uh, with this, uh, now, need to try to understand the fundamental aspect of uh, transport. Uh, people got also interested, um, um, you know, very well uh, in trying to understand how to use this, uh, uh, say, uh, this mechanism to, uh, to implement uh, efficient uh, engine at, uh, at the nanoscale. And uh, so I will... Uh, and the, the, the need to, uh, to study. This is because of the hope that uh, at the, this small scale, uh, and this was already presented uh, here at this conference, uh, there are some aspects of uh, nanoscale transport that will allow for some uh, interesting uh, way of improving the performance of these uh, engines. And, uh, you know, in, in this uh, field, there are uh, several uh, several questions then uh, that you may uh, that you may address which are related uh, to to the and I'm continuing uh, relating to the second part uh, here to the second item that I highlighted here there are several issues about understanding you know if there are uh, uh, limits to the size of these machines and if these limits to some uh, uh, to some in some way can uh, uh, limit uh, or they are disconnected to the way those engines perform uh, and uh, you know uh, of course there is a, uh, a lot of discussions on how to implement i mean uh, in uh, real solid state device uh, uh, heat engines and uh, last but not least uh, uh, what are the unique features you know uh, of uh, associated with the smallness of this engine. They may be related to quantum effects of some sort or um, uh, to the fact that uh, fluctuations are, uh, are, are relevant. So I will not uh, uh, touch in my presentation uh, none of these topics, uh, but uh, they are uh, certainly uh, the motivation for trying to understand, I mean, uh, you know, in many of these, uh, uh, in many of these questions are related uh, to, in a way, to how to control thermal, uh, uh, thermal transport at the, nano, uh, at the nanoscale. So actually, uh, uh, what I would like to do is just to uh, present one single uh, example 
uh, which is some drug of uh, heat current, where uh, control of uh, um, heat currents can be uh, implemented to, uh, in, in some way. So if this is useful or interesting, that, that we don't know, but uh, this is what, uh, uh, what we do. And I would refer to the review that uh, Giuliano mentioned um, um, in his talk for uh, just a uh, uh, um, uh, general discussion of the fields. Now, uh, what, so essentially in my talk, there are two ingredients, sorry, that uh, will be important. So let me uh, stress uh, those two ingredients. So the first one, I will consider a multi-terminal device. So actually, uh, this is important. Uh, and so, I mean, in the past, uh, there, were, there was already uh, some literature in uh, exploiting how having uh, several uh, uh, terminal might be uh, beneficial uh, for some uh, properties of uh, nano, uh, nano engines. So this is the first thing. And the second thing is that I will consider the case uh, in which local interaction are uh, important. And uh, I will refer to, again, to Giuliano, uh, where in his talk he just presents some, uh, some aspects related uh, to the presence or absence of interacting system in thermoelectric uh, transport. So this is the, uh, the system, essentially, I'm going to consider is related to Coulomb drug. So Coulomb drug is essentially uh, relate, I mean, is a phenomenon in which you have two uh, conducting circuits, I mean, two, con two circuits which are disconnected, but just, uh, so there is no tunneling uh, between the upper and lower circuits. So, uh, but they can interact through uh, Coulomb, uh, uh, Coulomb interaction. Now, uh, if uh, the upper circuit, if the upper, yeah, the, if the upper uh, circuit is biased with, uh, with a given voltage, then as a result of this kind of friction which is induced by the Coulomb interaction between the carriers in the two slabs here, there will be some induced transport in the, in the lower one. And uh, so this is a Coulomb blockade, which is a phenomenon which has been studied uh, since uh, several decades and has been uh, uh, very recently uh, reviewed uh, uh, in this paper by Narosny and Levchenko. Now, uh, in all this uh, literature about Coulomb drug, as far as I know, of course, uh, uh, Please tell me if I'm wrong. So the only, I mean, people, with the only exception of this work uh, here by Robert, Janine, uh, Rosa, and uh, Federica, uh, people looked only at the uh, uh, charge current. Okay? So uh, what uh, I would like to, to, to show you is, uh, is like, I mean, essentially the same uh, the same setup, but when uh, where in addition to uh, a voltage bias, I will also I can allow the system to have in the upper circuit a uh, temperature gradient, and uh, and uh, I will look uh, how uh, in the in the in the secondary circuit, not only charge current, but also heat current will flow. Okay, so uh, in, the, in the rest of, uh, of the talk, I will mostly consider the case of two uh, metallic islands, which are connected, uh, but probably I will say something also about two uh, coupled quantum wires, where we don't have too many results, though. Now, uh, so the drag current that I'm going to present in several uh, ways uh, is defined as 
uh, here. So I will have, in general, currents, both charge or heat, which will flow through the left or the right reservoir in the lower part of the circuit. So this is the Coulomb interaction between the two nanostructures. And, uh, and the drag is just given by uh, the difference, say, E left minus E right measure on the lower, uh, uh, on the lower electrodes. Now, there is an important, uh, very important difference between charge and uh, heat current, which will essentially dominate the whole uh, phenomenology that I'm going to present. That is the fact that while uh, uh, in absence of tunneling, there is no charge current which go, can go from top to bottom. This is not true for heat current. So essentially, if one can try to imagine how uh, heat flow, I mean, how drag uh, uh, occurs, it's a kind of, uh, um, I mean, in addition to having a heat flow here in the presence of a temperature gradient, some heat will uh, flow from top to bottom, but uh, essentially there may be cases in which uh, the heat is not bipartitioned in a symmetric way, and uh, when this symmetry left-right is broken by various means, then uh, I will uh, just call this uh, drag. Okay, so this is. Uh, uh, this is important because, as you will see, uh, uh, it will affect uh, the way in which the drag will depend on, uh, on various uh, parameters. So let me start uh, with uh, the first example, which I mentioned. That is just uh, the possible simplest, uh, the possible, I would say, simple, simplest uh, circuit you can imagine. You have two metallic islands. Uh, one and two, which are uh, coupled uh, to corresponding uh, reservoirs. Okay. So I will. Uh, so in the rest of the presentation, what I'm going to present is standard uh, Coulomb blockade theory. There is nothing fancy. So I will uh, consider both the case in which I will have. Sequential tunneling, which is the simplest uh, uh, possible scenario, and then I will briefly discuss uh, the case in which I may have uh, higher order uh, tunneling events, co-tunneling. So, uh, as uh, we know, so in Coulomb block theory, uh, an I mean, a crucial quantity which one should consider is just the electrostatic energy associated with, uh, uh, with uh, the configuration with N1 electrons, uh, charges uh, in, uh, in the dot, in the, in the islands one and then two in the, in the second one. And uh, the energy will depend on the uh, various uh, gate voltages here presented uh, with NX1 and NX2 and by this coupling EI, which I will, uh, uh, I mean, I'll mention several times, that's why I, I, uh, I just highlighted here. Now, and as I said, uh, what, uh, what we do is, uh, uh, so probably this is a bad news. I have the feeling I will not finish in 20 minutes. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Uh, uh, so, as I said, uh, what uh, I'm going to present is uh, really standard Coulomb block blockade theory. So, at the end, uh, what I'm interested in uh, is just uh, in order to compute all the currents, is uh, compute the probability <coughs> of having uh, N1 and N2 charge on the two islands here, and uh, which, I, which I can determine through a master equation here. There is a dot missing. So, this is a master equation. And these are the rates which will depend on the various uh, uh, various um, tunneling process that I should consider. So before presenting the results, there are a couple of things which uh, I would like to emphasize, which have uh, similarities and in some cases difference to 
uh, electric uh, drug, uh, things that were uh, discussed here in these uh, two papers, uh, and I would like to, uh, to mention. So first of all, uh, I mean, this is a case in which uh, uh, co-tunneling is not higher, I mean, cannot be disregarded uh, in terms, I mean, as compared to sequential tunneling, if sequential tunneling is, uh, is present. And uh, also here, uh, you will see that co-tunneling has uh, some uh, uh, important correction, gives some important correction to transport. Uh, another aspect which I would like to uh, emphasize that uh, was discussed previously for uh, Coulomb drag is that energy dependence of, of tunneling amplitude may be relevant. Uh, uh, here for, uh, uh, for uh, um, heat drag uh, situation is slightly different, so you may have, uh, so actually it's different. So you may have uh, 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 heat drag or thermal drag uh, even if there is no uh, energy dependence on the tunneling amplitudes, and I will show you why, and uh, uh, I will tell you what changes uh, in this case. So physics is uh, pretty simple, I mean, uh, uh, so I, I'll consider the simplest case in which I have uh, the, the two external charges to one half, then essentially I have to consider two processes. I mean, uh, 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 this is uh, the picture depicted uh, what, what the, uh, the energy diagrams here for the lower circuit, either two electron enters or uh, two electron get out, and this one or zero will refer, these are the energy difference when uh, the upper islands is empty or, uh, or uh, charged, and uh, this process may be asymmetric, and this asymmetry will uh, um, result, uh, result in a drug. So first, let me consider the case in which uh, there is no, uh, there is, no, uh, there is no energy dependence, so I have standard uh, uh, featureless transition amplitude. So uh, we know that uh, for charge current, for charge drag, I should get zero uh, or in the presence of sequential tunneling only. So here is different, and you will see that it's very easy to uh, understand. So these are the results for the heat uh, drag, either if you have a voltage bias on the upper circle if you have uh, a, a thermal gradient. Now, now you will see that uh, even in this case, essentially, you will have uh, an asymmetry because the heat which is delivered from top to bottom will escape differently from left to right. So that's why even if uh, the, um, the tunneling amplitudes are energy independent, you will have current at uh, the level of sequential tunneling, but you see, then it's just related to the asymmetry of the, of the, of the, of the two junctions. Uh, now, the current is not linear, but uh, it's quadratic. Again, because you see, what, what you really need is the fact that uh, you have non-equilibrium fluctuations here that will pump heat uh, uh, from top to bottom, and this heat is distributed uh, in a different uh, in a different way. So essentially this is the, uh, the mechanism that uh, emerged from this, uh, uh, from this picture. Last, uh, I would like to uh, um, emphasize the, 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 the dependent on the coupling. So this is the coupling, and if the coupling is small as compared to KBT, then it starts uh, quadratically. Okay, so this is uh, uh, this is the full curve uh, that uh, as a function of uh, the uh, as a function of the gate charges. Then you will see that it's maximum when uh, you are at uh, uh, at the degeneracy. And what is important, probably I should uh, emphasize that this curve is uh, a scale. So it's really, I mean, you you get uh, essentially one order of magnitude uh, larger current if you are uh, at degeneracy. Now, uh, if you include cotunneling uh, contribution, then this cotunneling will contribute, I mean, will give uh, important corrections. 
okay? More or less of the same uh, order, but it will not change the behavior of the uh, of the the current as a function of the external uh, charge. Now I'll show you that uh, at lower couplings it starts quadratically, but uh, uh, also I, we know that if you go to very strong coupling, essentially you are going to suppress. Uh, charge fluctuation, so you would expect that the drag current will go down again to zero. This results in the fact that actually there is uh, an optimal coupling which will uh, maximize uh, uh, the drag current. And uh, actually uh, something which uh, would, I would like to emphasize is that in some case the drag can even be larger than the drive current itself. So this is this region here. Uh, I don't have a real good uh, um, uh, physical explanation why this is the case. So I mentioned that uh, uh, this was shown in the papers I mentioned here that uh, co-tunneling is important because essentially it's essentially the same order which, which matter. And indeed, uh, for instance, this is uh, one example. So if you have only sequential, or you put also sequential plus cotunneling <coughs> in the heat drag, then you will see that there are uh, important differences. So this is, uh, uh, so this, this effect was, for instance, emphasized here, and we really see the same features also in the, uh, in the electric, in the heat, in the heat current. Uh, well, so as I said, uh, so in those two papers, uh, people, so people present here, emphasize that uh, the energy dependence may be important. Now, uh, are indeed imp is indeed important for charge drag. Well, actually here uh, with metallic island, it's very hard to think uh, uh, to have uh, tunneling matrix elements which are uh, energy dependent. So what we did is was just to substitute one of the two uh, electrodes in the lower circuit with, uh, uh, with, super, with a superconductor. So the presence of superconductor gives uh, a, an energy dependent, uh, an energy dependent uh, density of states which will uh, do the which will play the right... Uh, uh, yes? Don't you asymmetrize the problem in that case by hand? Uh, yes. But uh, I should say that even if you make it asymmetric, when delta temperature is zero, there is no drag because everything is in equilibrium. So you are right, but uh, for w what we wanted to show, it is still... Uh, is still zero and uh, uh, now two <coughs> two effects which uh, okay there are features which are uh, uh, appearing uh, not so for instance you don't have a maximum here at 0 0.5 but uh, you have two maxima shifted which are related to the fact that now you have a, a new energy scale which is a gap delta where below which the density of state is zero, and this will uh, give uh, two maxima shifted by the optimal point, 0 0.5. Another important thing that also here, as shown in this, uh, in this paper, then you will get uh, linear contribution. So you, this delta E square, is uh, delta T square or delta V square is not the only contribution, but the curves uh, will start linearly. It's not uh, clearly visible here, but uh, uh, this is, uh, the case, sorry. And uh, uh, the only one last thing which I would like to emphasize is you may have region in which the heat uh, mm, uh, is extracted for the normal lead. So in a sense, theory, this might be related to the asymmetry that uh, you were mentioning. So you may have cases in which you change the, <coughs> the heat flow in the normal lead. So you, do, you try to pull it. Uh, good, so uh, 
um, I think I'll uh, 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 so let, let me, I'm about to finish, right? Okay, so I will finish. I will just mention that you know this is a, a situation in which you can. Uh, sorry. Okay, so I'm done. Uh, you can emphasize the. Uh, sorry, I got confused. So you can also study kind of uh, thermoelectric drag in the sense uh, you uh, you have uh, various combination that uh, uh, that you can exploit uh, because of. Time, I think I will conclude here. I will skip the part on the uh, quantum wire because. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs>